Artist L. King has now responded to the backlash for her heavily criticized performance at the Opry Goes Dolly tribute show, which took place earlier this year in January when fans speculated that she was intoxicated during her performance. She was also using much profanity throughout her set. Sadly, this is not the first time that fans have speculated that L. King has been intoxicated while performing, but on this night, many took to social media where they expressed their frustrations, acknowledging that it was a bit disrespectful and embarrassing to Dolly Parton on this night. So for a quick recap of it, let's jump to this video that was shared to TikTok after L. King's performance. You ain't getting your money back. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing is true. Good, because you ain't getting it. That's it. I'll, I'll tell you one thing more. I'll tell you one thing more. Hi, my name is L. King. I'm fucking hammered. Now, along with the backlash from fans, the Grand Ole Opry themselves even offered an apology uh, for L. King's actions on that night, as you can see here. The initial comment from a fan was, I wish she would have been there because L. King ruined the night with her horrible drunk and profane performance. Dolly Parton would have been mortified for our first time at the Opry. It was a shame we all had to witness that. This is the apology here from the Opry. Hi, Judas. We deeply regret and apologize for the language that was used during last night's second Opry performance. You know, it's it's really hard to, to watch this from L. King because you never really know what anyone may be going through. And it may appear that she is going through something because Dolly Parton did eventually respond to L. King's performance. She did respond in the most Dolly Parton way. She's clearly moved on. She also shown that she was not really affected by what L. King did during that set of the Night of the Opry Goes Dolly tribute show. Dolly Parton spoke to Extra. This is what she had to say about it. As you see here up on your screen, Parton told Extra, Elle is a really great artist. She's a great girl. She's been going through a lot of hard things lately and she just had a little too much to drink. Parton continued and added, so let's just forgive that and forget it and move on because she felt worse than anybody ever could. I do believe that from Dolly when she says she feels worse than anybody ever could because Elle King ended up canceling shows or postponing shows until March of this year, shortly following that night at the tribute show. Uh, there was never really any indication that that was the reason as to why those shows were postponed. But we did find out later that L. King spoke to Dolly Parton privately about that night. To include L. King's most recent response uh, to the backlash, um, it also appears that she may have been receiving death threats during this time as well, but she is back performing. It was about a week ago we saw her back at her first show, and she has now went back to her social media to respond to that backlash. Uh, she seems to be doing much better um, and not really letting much of that hate get to her. So here are the most recent responses from L. King. Now, just two days ago, she shares this reel right here, uh, kind of showing off what she may believe people are thinking when they are DMing her, uh, maybe this nasty and hatred set of messages about the show. She captions it, if they only knew. Again, we know that she did reach out to Dolly Parton privately. And here is her most recent reel that she shared uh, to social media just a day ago. She writes, to everyone sending me love because I'm human and already talked to Dolly, I love you. She then adds to everyone who told me to kill myself, I love you too. She's captioned it also with, oh no, was my human showing with a hashtag of what would Dolly do? There are still some folks out there who are saying, well, this is not really a public apology to Dolly, but again, as we've mentioned, she has already spoken to Dolly in private, which honestly, uh, that 
to me seems the best route to go is to speak one-on-one -on -one with the person that you may have affected. So clearly she has spoke to Dolly. Dolly has confessed that she's moved on, that L King was going through a lot of hard things uh, and that she may have had too much to drink that night. L King is clearly feeling as though she's in a better place maybe, uh, publicly addressing this backlash. And again, for those saying, well, it's not much of an apology publicly. Well, she is most likely, I'm assuming that private conversation with Dolly Parton was the apology and the two have clearly moved on. So as always, guys, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That will be all for today's video. Hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss out on any breaking updates and news on your favorite country music artists.